Hi, this is a review of Chalcoa Premium Wet Wipe Markers. Um, first of all, uh, the package right here, not so happy with it. Um, very flimsy plastic. Mine is already um, getting broken, so this is probably not going to last very long. Um, the other thing, when you get a marker, you open it and you try to snap the cap back on like I would do with any pen or marker. It doesn't click in, so yeah, could have been better. So here's a marker. It has a soft uh, kind of spongy tip, and this is where um, this is where you're gonna get your ink flow. Um, and it's a little tricky to get it to flow at first. Um, I actually haven't used markers like this before, so I was really surprised how long it took for it to start working. So what you do is you're going to shake it for a while like this. Shake, 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 shake. And then you want to um, press on the tip like this for quite a while too. So this is going to get the ink to fill the sponge on the end and uh, get the paint to flow. Once it's uh, going though, it's it's fine. Once in a while you have to push a little bit and get it to refill. But, um, you know, if you're just starting, uh, if you've never used this kind of markers before, keep in mind that they're not broken just because they don't have um, pigment on the end right away. It's just the nature of this marker. You have to be patient at first. Okay, so as far as the colors, um, neon is not my favorite, <laughs> so um, I'm hoping that Chalcola will come up with um, a somewhat better selection for artists, and uh, the word is that they are about to release another set. Um, but these are the swatches that I did with the existing colors. This is the neon. Um, and you can see that they're pretty bright, pretty colorful. White doesn't show up really well on paper. Um, it works fine on, uh, you know, chalkboard, some kind of a really dark surface that is also smooth. Uh, but on paper, it's it's not impressive. All the other co all the other colors though seem pretty good. I also did a little bit of um, trying to mix them because as an artist, I'm interested in having these um, these pigments interact, not just, um, you know, painting by numbers, but see what they do when they when you mix them together. So these are some some options, you know, just putting one color swatch and then another one on top. So this one was uh, purple where I put some blue on top and they mix a little bit. Some of them are more opaque. Um, they have more coverage and some are more transparent, so they show the bottom color through. Uh, it's pretty cool to play with them, though. Um, so the black in this, like another reviewer said, is fairly impressive. It's nice, rich black. You get smooth, nice coverage. I really like it. Um, I can see myself using it uh, in other projects, too. This is pretty cool. So, um, let's see what else. I've been using mine mostly on toned paper um, because uh, they are opaque. They're chalky. Um, they do look like uh, pastels uh, or gouache. So something that has a little more coverage than watercolors, which I mostly use. So, um, it's fun. Um, here's a, a drawing I did this morning, just a flower with uh, using this set. You can look at it closely here. Um, yeah, so you can see this is this can be used um, beyond just writing messages on chalkboards if that's what you, if that's what you're looking for. Uh, now another thing before I forget. Um, the tip size in these markers is rather large, um, so you can't really do fine work with them, which may or may not be good, depending on what you want. Um, 
but I think it would be cool if they had maybe big one on one end and a little one on the other end or some kind of a brush tip you know just kind of wishful thinking here anyway um another thing uh some colors have a uh, nicer flow than the others and i'm sure it probably comes from having different pigments or maybe different concentration of chalk to to uh paint um but i noticed that some colors um are just nicer to work with. They just have this paint flowing quality that is, is really pleasant and the other ones uh, you have to shake them and mess with them all the time. So a little bit more consistency would be good. Um, and finally um, my kids love these. Um, I've seen some really nice stuff going on when they're messing with them. So Here you go. Kid artwork too. So, um, good thing about these, uh, if you use them for kids, um, they are, let's see, the descriptions say that they are child safe, water based, non toxic, and so on and so forth. And uh, the best thing of all, they are super easy to clean up. So, yeah, get them for your kids.